when, when the fuck are we, we going, going to use, use that? that? Welcome to the world of Disney Imagineering, where the wonders of imagination meet the physics of engineering to make something truly magical. I'm your host, the cryogenically frozen head of Walt Disney. Disney Imagineers design rides and attractions for Walt Disney Parks. Let's take a look at some of the physics involved in designing and engineering some of my more famous rides. Disney Imagineers design rides for our parks and even for events like the New York 1964 World's Fair. One such ride, It's a Small World, was originally designed for this fair. It's a Small World is a musical boat ride that takes passengers on an adventure around the world. Passengers get to experience the music, the culture, and the sights of each country through the eyes of that country's children. The entire spectacle is set to the oh-so-melodious and in no way ear-bleedingly annoying. It's a small world after all. Follow the bouncing head. The boat is pushed along a current, created by pumps in the water. The water pushes against the boat, and according to Newton's third law, the boat pushes back on the water. For every action, there's an equal but opposite reaction. As the front of the boat pushes through the water, it creates drag, similar to a friction force or air resistance, pulling back on the boat with the same amount of force that the current pushes forward. These balanced forces create an object in constant velocity. According to Newton's first law, an object in constant motion will stay in constant motion until an outside unbalanced force acts on it. As the boat and its passengers float along the flume at a constant velocity through dancing, singing figures, The total mass creates a gravitational force. As gravity pulls down on the boat, the water displaced by the boat creates an equal buoyancy force. The buoyancy force acts like a normal force, pushing up on the boat. In order to design the boat, Imagineers needed a boat that could create a balanced buoyancy force, assuming the mass of the boat and 14 average sized passengers is equal to 1,880 kilograms. If you multiply 1,880 kilograms by the gravitational force constant of Earth, 9.8, you get a gravitational force of 18,000 424 newtons pulling down on the boat. This means that the boat needs to displace enough water to create a buoyancy force of 18,424 newtons pushing up to keep the boat afloat. If the buoyancy force is less than the gravitational force, the forces become unbalanced and the boat sinks. This is one reason that Disney Imagineers had to redesign the boats in 2007, because the average American increased their mass from 70 kilograms to 91 kilograms. One too many turkey legs. <laughs> and it's a small world boat, travels at a constant velocity, as the moving current applies a force against the submerged portion of the boat. If this boat travels 9.45 meters in 15 seconds, using their kinematic equations, Disney Imagineers were able to calculate the speed of the ride. They organized their three given pieces of information, assuming that a zero acceleration exists because the boat's moving at a constant velocity. They then found which variable was being solved for, which variable was not included, and then found the proper equation. Plug and chug solved for the missing variable and they knew exactly how fast this ride was moving. Here at Disney Imagineering, we keep moving forward opening new doors and doing new things because we're curious and curiosity leads us down new paths. 
That's why we took the technology, the audio animatronics and the boat technology that we used in It's a Small World after all, and created an exciting new ride, the Jungle River Cruise. The Jungle Cruise is a classic boat ride at Walt Disney World. It takes guests on a guided tour of the rivers of Asia, Africa, and South America, giving guests the opportunity to experience the native cultures, the uh, plant life, and... <laughs> the wildlife. The Jungle Cruise boats operate similarly. When they move at a constant velocity, the motor applies a forward force, while the drag of the water pulls back on the boat. These balanced forces keep the boat in motion, according to Newton's first law. The motor pushes on the water, and the water pushes back on the motor, propelling the boat forward, following Newton's third law. The 7,368-kilogram boat with passengers creates a gravitational force, so to keep the ship afloat, Disney Imagineers had to design it with enough surface area and with a low enough density to have an equal buoyancy force.